Good afternoon, everyone. KFC having a few hiccups for delivery to their stores. This was back on the 16th. They couldn't deliver fresh chicken, so they'll be back as soon as they can. And chasing down that story in the UK, of course, the Emmageddon. 20 inches of snow, highways at a standstill, more snow on the way. This is just the beginning of it, along with thunder snow, blizzard conditions, air travel suspended, high waves pounding the coast, and that European super freeze. And while you're watching the video, please remember to subscribe to Adapt2030 and click that bell so you can get the latest updates. So I originally started chasing down this story from Mary Greeley News about what the cluck? KFC having a difficult time delivering fresh chicken to several outlets throughout the UK. They call it a hiccup in the delivery system, but with all the anomalous weather affecting vegetables and different types of crops for delivery this year, you just start to see this chicken chain affected in several UK cities, Newcastle, Suffolk, Surrey, Berkshire. And yet have to ask yourself what's going on. And this looks exactly like those same signs that you see in the supermarket that continually say, sorry, extreme weather, our vegetables are out of stock. Here we go. Sorry, we're closed. We're unable to deliver fresh chicken. See you soon in the future sometime. This headline has been circulated widely in the UK. What the cluck? How can KFC not have enough supply of chicken for their restaurant chains in the UK? Running out of chicken? Something's disrupted in the supply chain, but will we ever find the real reason? And also the Herald, an enormous amount of rundown on the snowstorms that are blanketing the UK along with the European super freeze called the beast from the east. Let's look at the UK snow totals coming in Thursday potential. That dark blue, 10 to 20 centimeters. For those of you in the US, 15 centimeters is half a foot, six inches. But some of the hill areas could receive 50 centimeters. That's almost two feet. Going on to Thursday, up to 40 centimeters, it shifts into the north there, as you can see. Well over a foot, other places, a half a foot. Friday, same thing. 1 to 15 centimeters, up to half a foot, 6 inches, 6 inches. And going out into March 8th, you can still see the beast from the east hanging over. Northern Europe, Eastern Europe, it's going to pull back from the UK a little bit. But this is all-time record cold temperatures with thermometers pegged at 40 below zero Celsius and they couldn't go any colder, but the temperatures were actually minus 48. But those didn't make the record books because the temperature gauges weren't working correctly. Anyway, the Emmageddon is what it's called off the beast of the east. Emma is a storm that's slamming from the west side of the UK and the beast of the east is slamming from the east side and they're colliding in the middle. Looking at around 20 inches of snow, snarling traffic. The UK government was really slow to act to get this red warning up. They knew this intensification of the cold weather was coming for a week. And they just kept putting it off. Yellow level, yellow level. And then it's red level instantly. And they, they say, everybody get home. And the MRT stations were clogged. You got people stranded on the highways. People stranded all over the roadways. The UK government, I don't know what they were thinking. They should have put this alert out at least yesterday. And this seems to be the state of traffic conditions around the country. Satellite image for you here. Incredibly interesting cloud striations. Two storms are going to collide over the UK. Up in the north, blizzard conditions, gusting winds up to 90 miles per hour. Accompanying with this, heavy waves pounding the coast. Add in a little thunder snow for good measure. Affect the airline transportation around the aisles. London looks like this. And this is M80, major thoroughfare, otherwise known as Interstate 80. If you're over in the U.S., you can flip those between each other. 
Over here on UK snow updates, they finally term it a blizzard, but what did the UK government think was going to happen with these freezing temperatures and colliding storms? They just didn't give people enough time to get prepared. They finally call it a blizzard today. What happened yesterday when you knew this forecast was coming up? All these meteorologists are saying it, but the UK government's so slow to react. Severe weather EU, Glasgow. This morning, minus six snow. It is literally snow from Ireland, Wales, all the way down to the south coast in UK and over into London, everywhere. Rare indeed to get that much snow at one time. We people talking about you have to go back to the 1940s to find these types of storms again. Kent, 15 centimeters. This is what it looks like from the air. Thanks for watching. Hope you got something out of the video. The vegetable shortages and the supply chain is being disrupted due to the grand solar minimum losses. Not a lot of media is talking about this. Hope you can do some of your own research. I linked everything below in the description box so you can follow the articles.